How's it hanging YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Joe the Geek. Welcome back to another unboxing. Now, as you can see by the, the state of my room here, I've got lots of packages to unbox. I'm going to do those in another video, so watch out for that one. Um, these guys I want to quickly unbox now because I want to have a read of them, basically. Um, so, let's just crack straight on. As usual, I've, I've already taken the tape off, so hopefully they should just be able to open straight away. I think I know what these ones are. So these are part of the um, Ultimate Marvel Graphic Novel Collection. Been collecting these since the first came out, which feels like about 70 years ago now or something like that. Um, it's one of these collections that just never ends. It just keeps going and going and going and going. Um, I'll throw a picture up here of my collections. I collect this one, I collect the Mightiest Heroes and the DC one. If we can just take a few minutes just to appreciate the strain those shelves are under, please. I mean, I think they're doing a damn good job. So this set is going on and on, like I say, and it's one of those ones that I don't want to stop because I'll, well, I just don't know, I think I'm a bit obsessive, maybe it's a bit OCD, I'm not sure, I just feel I need to keep going. In reality, I don't buy many um, modern comic books to read anymore, so these collections, though they've not got much retail value, are probably a good deal for me because I get complete storylines or runs of books, things that I probably won't pick up um, anywhere else. So, the work for me. So, in this latest set, I mean, it's worth saying as well, um, you get some good storylines, some good books, but there's some dross in there as well, some math books that I kind of pick up, look at and think, eh, and don't read, and just stick on the shelf. I will read this one, but so this looks interesting. So we've got Astonishing X-Men Life of X. Not read that one before, not heard of it. Um, looks interesting I'll give it a go Old Man Logan on the front don't know a great deal about him but I quite like him one of my favourite characters in the back there Archangel but I must admit I'm completely lost off with where the hell we are with him so the last time I was reading regular books he was part of X-Force and he became Apocalypse's heir 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 to Apocalypse Um but then I think they cured him, or they killed him. Betsy killed him or something. But anyway, I don't know. And then I know he's been in a lot of series since then. But I'm not really sure what, what version we're at at the moment. But that's that anyway. Restoration X-Men, Life of X, issue 238. Blimey, heck. I nearly swore then. 238. That's how many... Oh, anyway. Canny. Like I say, they are a bit of an alright read. Um, We've got here... Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, Amazing Fantasy. I don't know if that's like a very old one or if it's a... Collecting Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, 297-303. And one of the annuals. I have no idea whether that's a... Because sometimes they chuck reprints from like years and years ago. I don't know if that's a regular, regular modern story or an older story or what. It's got two Spider-Men on the front. I'm intrigued. I'll read that one. That'll be interesting. Oh, well, that's not too bad. So two decent books there from from um, from the, the graphic novel collection. Quite pleased with that. This one I'm really excited to get into. It's a massive box and it'll be heavy. So, but I am really looking forward to this. So this is a, a, a deal that I got on one of the um, Facebook groups, comic book Facebook groups in the UK from a lady called Kelly who was selling it. Do you know what I did there? Like a little, like I'm waving to you. Hi Kelly. Um, who was selling some books that I believe belonged to her brother. Um, I'm going to do a, a show, a show, a live show. I'll do a dance. It'll be great. I'm going to do a video on my Absolute collection shortly. I love the Absolute format. I like the bigger format books. One, because I'm getting old and it's nice for my eyesight. I just think the Absolute format helps the page pop. Um, and I just like the books, the weighty books. So I'll, I will do you a show on um, the Absolute Collection because I've got a fair few. Now this lady, Kelly, um, was selling a couple of, of them, like I say, on Facebook, and I've picked up three books from her, two Absolutes and one Special Edition. Um, just want to say, this this lady, and this is why I love the Facebook pages, really, um, this lady was super nice, super helpful, great packaging, great to deal with, um, a joy, really. Very unlike the usual stuff you get on eBay, I have to say. 
it was a pleasure doing business with her. So I'm um, really pleased with these. Looking forward to them. Massive box, um, but it should be for absolute. She's packaged them incredibly well. Um, oh, nice, nice, nice. So, first one out of the box is a bit of an interesting one. It's not an absolute edition. I didn't know what I was expecting because I've never really looked into this much. One of my videos earlier you'll see is Alex Ross. I think he's brilliant, superb artist. Um, and I love his initial series, um, Earth X, um, and they're all the ones that fall on from that. Now, I don't have an Earth X collection. Christ, this is heavy. I don't have an, an Earth X collection, but Kelly was selling this beast. Wow. This is phenomenal. So this is Earth X in a perspex <coughs> plastic case. You see the... I mean, that's impressive. And inside you get a DVD, there's a poster in there, and then the full book, the full tool. That is impressive. I really like that. Yeah. I'll put some proper pictures over these later on. But that looks stunning. The ton weight. All right, I see. So the case just lifts off. We've got like a plastic case there for it. And dropped it. And then inside you have the massive. Oh. So you've got the CD. Stick that in, see what's in that. You've then got a huge poster. Now, this is where, excuse me, I dropped the book. This is where this gets a little bit interesting. So, that's beautiful. So I think I've seen, I'm hugging it. I think, it smells good. I like a sniff. I think I've seen these editions when they first came out many, many years ago. And I think they were limited. And I've got a feeling, oh look at that. I've got a feeling um, they were signed by Alex Ross, but I'm not sure. That might've been a special edition. I, I don't know didn't ask this lady if this was signed and as they weren't hers as they were her brothers I suspect she wouldn't have known so I'm hoping when I open this it'll be signed by Alex Ross if it is I'll be chuffed to bits oh, don't know who that is so there's a it is signed JP Lennon and W Rutherford or something I don't know who they are that's disappointing. There's two signatures there. I think you can just pick them out. I'll have to have a look and find out who they are. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, gutted. I was hoping it would be signed by Alex Ross. Never mind. Did it? Oh, hang on. That's like a, um, what do you call it? Like Titan paper, grease paper. So the other signature is underneath it. So you've got, I don't know who that is. And you've got the other signature underneath it. This is two signatures. Oh! Over the moon. And then the next page. You have got the incredible Alex Ross. And somebody else signed it. That is tremendous. Um, I'll try and take some photos of these pages so you can have a proper look. That is tremendous. Oh, who's all these signatures? There's like three different signatures there. I'll have to have a look and see if I can do some research. Put something in the comments below if you know who the signatures are. I obviously know who Alex Ross is, his signature is, but I don't know the others. Dedicated to Alan Moore. Wow. Sorry, this probably doesn't. It's in black and white. That's interesting. It's in black and white. Was the original series in black and white? Well, it was it? It was in colour. Interesting. I probably, you know, should have done a bit of research before I just bought these or bought this book in particular, 
because I don't really know what I'm buying. I just like the look of it. But this is all in black and white. Um, is it meant? Well, well, obviously it's meant to be in black and white. Okay, fantastic. Love that. I'll have to put it back in the plastic case and everything. Superb. Oh, I'm enjoying this box. This is good. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I'm going to take that plastic thing off because it's rattling. I'm enjoying this box, so thank you very much, Kelly. I don't suppose you're watching, but if you are watching, amazing. Oh, my great Moses. These are heavy. So, she did tell us that these were damaged a little bit. But, I'm not going to get it. So, I have Absolute Dark Knight. Bit of Frank Miller goodness there. Case is in good nick. Oh, look at that. That just pops off for me as well, doesn't it? So, beauty. Again, I don't know much about this particular version. I do, I do know, obviously, about Dark Knight. Um, Dark Knight Returns is one of my favourite storylines. This looks to be the classic Dark Knight storyline. Seems a massive book for just that story. I don't know if it's maybe it's got the follow on or something again. Oh, it has. It's atrocious. Not Dark Knight Returns. Dark Knight Returns is brilliant. Dark Knight Strikes Again. I think mm, I don't know really what happened with Mr. Miller then, because his artwork goes a bit bizarre for my tastes. But that's just me. Um, excellent. Oh well. So what's the third one? Dark Knight Strikes. Dark Knight. Don't know what the third one is. I'll have to have a look. But. If the third one's in an absolute edition, I'll obviously have to buy it to complete the collection. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. All the way in the past. Next one is an absolute classic. Um, I have it in another format, paperback format. So I'll bin that and get rid of it. Um, every serious comic book collector has got to have a copy of Watchmen. Um... I think it's the law. I think you've got to. Bit dusty. Bit of glue will sort that. Clean that off. Um, ah, love it. Absolutely love it. Bit of Alan Moore goodness. Look at that. Stunning. Sniff test's good. Put it the wrong way around. absolute format like I said is made for superb artwork Alan Moore's Watchmen is a classic graphic novel as you all know the artwork in it is stunning and again in this particular format um, it just looks absolutely amazing love it I say that a lot don't I love it but then I don't buy any old shit sorry am I allowed to say it am I allowed to say shit on, fa on, no, on Facebook what's this YouTube don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not ah well said it what are you gonna do so there you go two absolute editions thank you to kelly brilliant books and an absolutely stunning alex ross and um, classic over the moon about that gonna look into it because black and white not that that matters but it's you know it's it's um interesting three signatures i'll have to do my research unless anybody on here knows please if you do know let us know hyper about that great great books thank you very much thanks for watching please do subscribe hit the thumbs button put something in the comments below if you collect absolutes um love to hear from you okay thanks very much catch you next time bye bye